Up Egbe Wole has asked professionals not to leave the development of Nigeria in the hands of politicians alone. He said they should seek themselves as critical stakeholders and partners in progress towards planning and development of the country. And he made this known in Abe Okuta, Ugun State, while delivering a lecture titled Town Planners, Sustainable Development and Nation Building at the 10th Wahid Kadiri Lecture Series. He emphasized the dangers of leaving politicians solely in charge of developing Nigeria as no nation can survive without the imputes of professionals in planning and execution of projects, policies and ideas. For a built environment that reflects the principles of sustainability, inclusivity, and resilience. The future is already here, and NIPP must seek to follow through deliberate action and ensure that the camp planning profession plays its part in renewing the hope of the citizens in a nation that is prosperous, environment friendly, with sustainable cities, and a future as well. It's not difficult to plan. The only difficulty in planning is when you decide you don't want to plan. But the other side, which people tend to uh, mix up, is implementation. Implementation is different from planning. And that is why when you do your plan, part of the process is that you will review it after, after some time. Most especially about five years. The inefficient power supply in Nigeria is a major factor in limiting the country's economic, economic progress. The newly sworn-in president of the Nigerian Institute of Electrical, Electrical and Electronic Engineers, Engineer Felix Ulu, emphasized this during his investi investiture ceremony in Abuja. Uloma Yemachi reports. In its nearly 40-year history, this is the investiture of the 21st president of the Nigerian Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. And we will and faithfully discharge, the duties, discharge as the duties as the president of the Nigerian Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. The newly sworn-in president, who has been acting since April 2023, officially began his tenure on January 1st, 2024. He says this ceremony is a formal introduction and a call for support from members, the government and the public. Meanwhile, the new president commended engineers globally for their collective efforts in maintaining technological advancement worldwide. Let us rise on our feet and give a very loud clapping applaud to engineers all over the world. He outlined the initiatives undertaken during his role as acting president and articulated his vision as the new president of the institute. The NIPPE won the trophy of the struggle for engineering professionalism in the fight against quackery. We also mobilized membership around the country and were able to register and induct about 365 new members in 2023 alone. We also hope to engage more in codes and standards development activities, and then we want to inaugurate more new chapters. As his first official assignment, Engineer Felix administered the oath of office on the members of the Executive Council that will work closely with him to achieve his mission. I, Engineer Do solemnly affirm Affirm that I will abide and defend that I will abide and defend the constitution of the Nigerian Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. The Constitution of the Nigerian Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, NIEEE. One of the suggestions for the NIEEE's new administration is to incorporate and utilize artificial intelligence or tackle security challenges within the country and also boost development within the institutes. Uloma Oyemachi, TBC News, Abuja.